Um, well, my main driver has um, always been curiosity, but uh, increasingly and more and less so at different times, I've been quite driven by wanting to, I suppose, stretch and stress test uh, my capabilities to see what I'm physically and mentally able to uh, put through, put myself through and get through. Um, but uh, you know, that, that sense of curiosity, I've always been fascinated by you know, people who have different lives to my own. I grew up in a very small village in the southwest of England where, um, well, it was homogenous to, to put it mildly. Um, and, you know, I just always knew there had to be more out there. And I've always been fascinated by books. You know, I, I mostly read nonfiction books about, you know, remote or fascinating or just different parts of the world and peoples. Um, and I also have, to, have discovered over the years that if you turn up in a remote community, let's say in Siberia or, or, or Papua New Guinea, to take two recent examples, if you turn up there on foot, there's um, there's an immediate sort of access and, and connection with the people there who will likely be going to places on foot or by some similarly uh, simple means of transport. Whereas if you uh, arrive, not that I've ever done this in a helicopter or in a four by four, there's immediately a, 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 a more likely to be at least a barrier, a disconnect, because that's such a um, such a sort of visible uh, symbol of how different your lives are, whereas just arriving kind of on similar terms that they can understand, uh, for me, has always proved a, a good way to put yourself on the same sort of level as other people and then have better access to be able to learn about them.